What's up guys, Zach with Wire Customs, and today we're going to show you a traditional way to put hydraulic brakes on your 34 Ford. Alright, so more specifically, we're going to show you how to put 39 Ford car brake pedals on a 34 Ford. Um, I built a lot of traditional hot rods and there's a few parts that I put in every single car such as a 1965 Ford Mustang uh, starter solenoid. I use that on everything. Super simple. I can make it push button, key turn, whatever. Along with that, I put in 39 Ford um, clutch assembly, brake assembly in every single traditional hot rod. I have it in the 34. I have it in my 31 uh, Roadster. And I also have that exact same pedal, even though I have an automatic transmission, I have the exact same pedal uh, in my 28 Roadster pickup truck. It's a very versatile pedal. Um, you can get split master cylinders for it. Um, you can run a hydraulic clutch. You can run mechanical clutch with those pedals. I love looking inside a traditional hot rod at the floor and seeing the pedals come up from the floor and not down from the firewall. It really gives you that traditional look with those little biscuit pads. I like putting that pedal assembly in everything and this looks really, really nice. So here's the 39 pedal assembly in the blue Martian with the automatic transmission. Uh, of course, I'm gonna replace the uh, rubber pad, but you can see how easily that just fits into any car. And it gives you that nice look once the floorboard's covering that all up. So here is the pedal assembly in the 34 Ford. We have a Zephyr transmission and with the mechanical clutch. This is important to note because this pedal assembly uh, can work for any early Ford transmission with a mechanical clutch very easily. It all comes down to how you hook it up and we'll actually go over that in this video. But real quick, here is what we did to the frame. So we cut out the X member on this side of the frame and made our own X member. You can see where the old K member is there. Then ours is 11 gauge. Um, it has quite a bit of gussets down here. We got two gusket gussets on the back, one gusset on the front, and we have a little clearance to throw the clutch in and out. So here's our clutch here, throwing the clutch all the way in and out, complete clearance there. And you can tell with the early Ford that the uh, engine and clutch, everything's working good when the whole engine and transmission doesn't push forward with the clutch because it takes quite a bit of pressure on these um, to push the whole clutch in. Then you can see hind joints here for the linkage. Hind joints, uh, thick wall pipe with nuts welded on the end so you can adjust your clutch as it wears. So you can see how that actuates. Then we also had to cut the fork on the clutch there and re-weld it in a different location because the Zephyr fork is in the wrong spot. And all that works really nicely as you can see. Then our brake pedal just underneath the steering column here. Super comfortable position. Once you put the biscuits on there, it'll lower it down to your foot a little bit better. Then after we get the floorboard back in, our foot will be a little bit higher even. So it should be in a pretty good spot. Nice and comfortable, completely adjustable. And it gave us the modern master cylinder because we want the old Yankee conversion from uh, the three bolt to the two bolt. So that gives us a pretty nice setup there. Nice modern style hydraulic brakes on a 34 Ford. I want to show you the backing plates that we have on this 34 Ford. Front and back is from Bowling Brothers Early Iron. These are self-adjusting, self-centering, uh, modern style drum brakes. These are nothing like the early Ford drum brakes other than looks. They look the part, but they stop and adjust way better than the old school brakes. We can center it here. We can center the whole assembly here. Then it has a normal adjuster on the bottom, like a normal drum brake. Just one turn of a screwdriver and you adjust the shoes out. Very, very easy, very simple. Um, great install. We put them on round back spindles and uh, they can go round back, square back, a couple different spindle options for this backing plate. Then we put the 39 Y5 uh, hubs on it. Brand new wheel bearings, the works. So this should be a really great modern style stopping uh, setup. So the master cylinder here is a modern master cylinder that you can get at any Napa. We got a Napa's part number. We put it right here at the bottom of the screen so you can make sure you can write it down. You can get the same thing. I put this in all of my Model A's, all my early Fords that are running drum drum setup. Um, <clears throat> this is a more modern 
drum drum master cylinder. Uh, it has built-in residual valves, so there's no more pumping the brakes when you're getting ready to stop. Uh, it's gonna hold a little bit of pressure in there for you, uh, so you can have a nice brake pedal, more modern style feeling brake pedal, and uh, you can get it at any Napa store. I use a Napa part number. Uh, Matt from Millworks actually taught me about this master cylinder. I didn't know about it until he linked me up with that. Now I'm putting it in everything. It is just so great to bring your old hot rod into the 21st century. Modern style brakes, but everything looks traditional hot rod. I love that little hiding a little bit of it because when we put the floorboard on, all you'll see is the old school pedals coming up from the floorboard, but we'll have a modern master cylinder. Backing plates, they look the part. To me, they look like a, a F1 Ford pickup, like brakes, backing plates. That's what they look like at first glance. So they look the part, but they are way better than anything that you could buy old school. Also, these hoses are 39 Ford uh, brake line hoses. Stock, not modified. Obviously, you can get these made at your local Napa store or wherever you like to get your hydraulic lines made. But you can order right off the website uh, where whoever sells replacement brake lines, uh, brake line hoses for 39 Ford. These are both stock links and everything. So uh, they give you two hoses for the front, one for the back, because they expect the hose to come off of the cross member onto uh, the torque tube and split down both of the radius arms with hard lines. So that's how um, it originally ran on 39. That's how I like to do it. It looks nice. You can't see anything from the outside of the car anyways, but it looks nice. So get your backing plates from Bowling Brothers Early Iron. Get your conversion from two bolt. Get your conversion uh, from the three bolt to the two bolt master cylinder from Millworks Hot Rod. Uh, they're made by Old Yankee Speed Co. Then get your brake lines from anywhere. Get your hoses locally or just order them for 39 Ford. Get your pedal assembly from anywhere that you can find it. Uh, I got mine from Iron Track Garage. Uh, Mike helped me out with those. Hopefully this video helps you uh, plan out your build for your 34 Ford or let you know your options for traditional hot rods. Uh, thank you guys for always watching. Make sure you like and share the channel. Now go out in your garage and get your shift together.